Hello everyone, my name is Big Zapper, and before I start the video, I want to show you guys some of my replays that I did of Pokemon Showdown. So, so basically, Pokemon Showdown is a website you go to to um to play like, you know Pokemon games. So you can actually create your team without even make without even, like you know, like you're going to regular games, just making one. So um so um I went to a little cup, and of course I got my um Eevee here, which is actually is um. This is actually, you know, adaptability silk, silk scarf Eevee because I wanted to power up his um, robot type moves. And then I found this guy, which was uh, actually kind of a good battle. So let's just play it right now. Yeah. So I go for his Q fan, I go for his Ponita, and I go for Mystical Fire, and it actually didn't kill him. And I go for his Sil and he's a Silent Berry. And he goes for Stealth Walk, and I was like, and I was like, okay, okay, hopefully he's not faster than me, and it's like, and I was like, yeah, he's not, actually not faster than me. So I went for physical fire and I uh, killed this guy. Goes for Glossopher. I go for physical fire again, just because. And then um, he goes for Leech Seed, which kind of cripples me a little bit. But I go for. But I was like, eh, hey, whatever. I was going for physical fire again. Bash he switches to Frillish. And then I was like, alright, time to switch, because this is a ghost type. And then I make a, I made, and then I made a little mistake. I went to Larvitar. I, I don't know. If, I don't know. I went to Larvitar for no reason. And this first actually has you know scald, but instead of scald, he went for a substitute, and, and that saved me. And I, but I didn't have the idea of switching Larvae, the Larvitar, into the um, Fungus to trick him into using scald, and it actually worked. Look, it actually, it actually worked. And then I went, and then I just used uh, Giga Drain, actually used Shadow Ball, and then I used Giga Drain since Fungus is a little bit slow, but and I actually got rid of his uh, substitute. He switches to his Glossifer again, and I went for Giga Drain. I thought he would, you know, stay for no reason. He goes for Rapid Spin without any entry hazards, and that actually kind of is a little confusing. Maybe he's doing that just to like up his speed, but Rapid Spin without entry hazards. That that's kind of not really um good move because since people only use Rapid Spin to give him um, hazards, but also Rapid Spin does also increase increase the speed. But even though that Glossifer is kind of slow, so I don't know why you would put, you know, give him a lot of speed. I don't know. But uh, I went for Sludge Bomb to, and kill it. And he goes, for, he goes to Axe you, and then he goes to Dragon Dance, and I was like, dude, do you know do you know Spore? So I went for Spore and um, actually hit it. I went for Sludge Bomb again, and I was like, okay, time to kill his Axe you. And I went for Sludge Bomb again. But then unfortunately, the guy left. For no reason, I don't know why. Alright, so here we have, um, Ubers. So, or I should use a Gen 7 Ubers. I you can see I have my Gengar, I have my March Shadow, I have my Ground Dawn, I have my Xerneas, Kirim White, and uh, Ditto over here. And I fought this guy. And the guy's actually kind of funny to, um, he's a little funny because uh, he has this Pukumuku, which you don't know what he, what, what he is. He, he's a very defensive dude, but. So let's see what his battle is. So I go for Mars Shadow. It goes for Jaws' speed out. And then, um, yeah, I went for Shadow Snake to kill it. It actually lives it. It goes for Spikes. And then, uh, and then I go for Shadow Snake. For some reason, he stayed in. I don't know why. But then it goes for Pukumuku. I go for Knockoff. Knockoff is leftovers. It goes for Toxic, which badly poisons me. So um, I go for my Gengar. And he went, went, went for Counter. And I went to Gengar. He was, he was Focus Miss. And then, for some reason, this guy used Toxic again on, on my Gengar, but why would you use Toxic on the Gengar? That would be, that's kind of, that's kind of actually, you know, stupid to you since Gengar is a poison type Pokemon and you use Toxic on him. I don't know why. So I went for Focus Blast, and then he goes for Counter again, so, and I was like, and I was like, what? I don't, yeah, I mean, I don't know. It goes for Dark Cry, I go for Focus Blast again to hit, and I was like, Okay, hit this, hit this focus blast. And the guy just forfeits. Yeah. And here we have Ubers again, but this time I went to Gen 8 and I have my Cinderace, which is actually a Gigantamax Cinderace. I wanted to see how strong it is. Here's my Alakazam, here's my Mewtwo, and here's my Melmetal, here's my Fable, and here's my Darmanitan. So I go for my Alakazam, he goes to his Necrozma Dust Mage, so I'm going to my Cinderace, he goes for Dragon Dance. And then this is where I get to max, I get to max my, um, my Cinderace. He actually goes for Earthquake, which I did not know he had. And 
And also he also he had one percent live, so he is very lucky. And then it goes to Earthling again, and actually, no, just me. And then it goes to my Mewtwo, and somehow I'm faster than him. I, I went for Aura Sphere and I just you know, killed him. And then and then he just left. And here we have another Gen 8 Uber um, match where I go with my Mewtwo, go for Toxic Packs. I was like, okay, that's cool, I can just have Side Strike. But actually, Diamantis is Toxic Packs. I went for Side Strike, they're like 46%, um, percent, which is actually a 3 hit KO. And, and he goes for Max Geyser, and then he goes for Max Guard, and then went for Side Strike again. Of course, Max Guard is like protect. Go for, si go for Side Strike again, and then I um, kind of look bad. So Max Geyser somehow lived it. And then, and then he just switches to his Mel Metal, and then I go to my Psy Strike, and he actually didn't do anything, and then just died in life for And then I go to my Cinderace, and I try to use G-Max Fireball, but apparently he switches to a Toxic Vex, and then I used it, didn't actually kill him, but since he's, slow, but since he's slower than me, I still kill him, with Max Cardinals. And yes, my, yes, my guy has, um, like, Burrow. And here's and here's a Salazzle, which actually has a focus dash. And then he goes for um, he goes for toxic. And then this is why this is why Diamax, you know, kind of turns normal. And then he goes just Lunala. I tried, I tried to do a sucker punch, but apparently uh, it actually failed. He goes sucker punch again, it actually worked. He goes for Moon Guy Speed. Now I actually lived that because my dark type dark type um my dark type. And it goes to Steelix, and with a second punch again, and it actually failed, and then I died in poison. Then I go to my metal metal on my own, it's Earthquake, and I uh, actually did a little bit with the chunk. Go for Body Press, and then I used Earthquake again. This is just Lunala, and I was like, okay, that didn't actually help me at all. Go for, go for Salazzle, and go for my Clefable. Because, uh, you know, Flamethrower or whatnot. And then the guy just left, for no reason. I don't know why. So this is another Gen 8 Uber battle. So in the start of this battle, um, this was very confusing. Because it, it has a Zekrom here. With a Draco Meteor on a Fairy type for uh, for whatever reason. I don't know. I went for Moonblast. I actually did quite a chunk. And then he goes for Hyper Beam. Hyper Beam on a Zekrom. Why? I don't I don't get it. Why use... I was, I was like, Hyper Beam on a Zekrom? Why? And then that, that, that just makes him... Go for Rush Charan, and it actually goes for Blue Flare, and then I go for Moonblast, and it actually did not do that, that that much damage. Maybe it's because it was special, especially defensive, and I can see why. So then my Clefable just failed, just um, dies. For my Alakazam, I went for Dazzling Gleam, but I didn't learn my lesson. Go for Draco Meteor, and then I go to my. I think that's like again, yeah. Try, just try to do a chunk. Go for Blue, go for Blue Flare again. And then uh, I go to my Mewtwo, and then I use Psy Strike, which actually kills it because Psy Strike actually aims for the defense, not the special defense. Here comes the Decidueye, and since I'm faster than him, I use Ice Beam, hoping for the freeze, I just didn't use it. But for some reason, he goes for Leaf Storm! Leaf Storm? I mean, I mean, why? Why? You could just use Spirit Shackle, but. Leaf Storm? I was like, okay, that's a little confusing. Uh, I just went for Ice Beam just to kill him, kill him like that. Go for Hydreigon, I'm so fast with him, so I use Ice Beam. Then I actually kill him, go for Dark Pulse, and then, you know, kills me. Then I go to Cinderace, and then I go to Max Knuckle, just to up my attack. I don't know why I didn't switch, but he didn't. So, yep, I did that. With goes to Blastoise, then I use Max Darkness, hopefully it kills. And it almost did, but it's not enough. And he goes for Aqua Tail, which actually didn't kill me. So I go back and I start the furnace again, and then he just goes. And he goes for Charizard. I go for Sucker Punch. Did a quiet chunk. He goes for, he goes for Blaze Kick out of, all, out of all the things. Go for Sucker Punch again, and that uh, is just game.